What's up guys and welcome back to Tambo the Elf and in the last episode we rescued every single civilian and now we're moving on to the final boss, I think for real this time, the final boss of Tambo the Elf and Zone 4 Phantom Fortress Stage 18 Phantom Commander, let's head in. Oh boy, things are more intense than ever. Ooh, we're right on the top too. Whoa, they're still working on building an eye or two. Look at all those construction equipment in the background. Now, we don't have to worry about any civilians. There are absolutely none here. Whoa, 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 let's not die right away. <laughs> let's not have any, oh, oh, did we win? GG, um, oh my, not quite. Oh no, he broke his own statue. Jeez, this is huge. Oh, and there he is at the top. Oh no, he's buff too! How could this get any worse? Nothing as horrible as a buff robot. Okay then, so how are we dealing with this big mamma jamma? Uh, let's do, oh gosh, run right into that. Um, hmm, I'm not really sure. I'm just gonna do my best to dodge all this. No! <laughs> oh gosh, what, oh, here's his fist, get it! Yeah, there we go, that did some damage. And we also get 999 phantoms for defeating this, so this'll be really cool. I'm doing a really bad job at dodging right now. It just, I don't know, some of these projectiles are flowing me for a loop, ouch, and that does something too, I gotta remember. So, if we die here, at least I'll have better know-how on how to handle this thing. Oh boy, uh, more of the fireball. Oh wow, they all fall at a different location, and it's really disorienting. Oh, he's coming down for the third fist, ouch. Why did I always say, oh, I knocked his entire hand off. Out of his arm, oh gosh, now he's going in for the head butts. I was not expecting that, it was just, oh boy. That is just a little crazy now, okay? Okay, just chill out, this isn't gonna help you. Oh, and he hurt his own face. Look at that, oh, that, he even put his ugly mug on a robot, like, come on. Narcissistic and not that bright. <laughs> all right, um, ooh, ooh, come on now. Just gotta dodge all these, and he's gonna, Oh, I thought he was gonna go down for another fist slam down, but not quite yet. With his big old hand, now he's gonna go do it. He pred <laughs> he lays out his movements too. He's like, I'm gonna punch you. Oh gosh, you punched me back. How could I expect this? <laughs> okay, oh boy, no, ooh. That was actually really lucky of me. We're about to die again here, so just gotta be careful. Ooh, no, 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 no. Uh, oh, oh, no, I did it too soon. Oh boy, now he's shooting at me. For whatever reason, it decided to knock off his left arm this time, or his right arm, my left. But I don't know what factors go into, like what arm falls off, if anything. Maybe it's just random. <laughs> it is pretty interesting now. Oh gosh, I don't like this laser thing. That's like the most menacing thing out of all this. I mean, the, he's an ugly, gigantic buff robot. I mean, all of it's menacing, but that specifically I don't enjoy. Um, boom, there you go, there's his other arm. What are you gonna use to scratch your nose now? Nothing. <laughs> <laughs> Look at what you've done to yourself. Oh boy. Um, whoa, these missiles are coming in hot. I don't like it, I don't like it, oh boy. All right then, oh gosh. And he shot out another tennis ball that I missed. How am I gonna do this? This is crazy. Um, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. There it is, there it is, no. <laughs> that tennis ball is too insane. How do I even think about getting to that? I don't even know, why? <laughs> All right, get that one back there. That one was good. Um, but now here comes the hard part with these missiles. I'm still not really entirely sure on how we can handle this properly. Um, okay, here we go. This time, oh, just he didn't shoot out three sets of missiles. It just shot out that one, which I really believe is what it probably should have done at first. I'm not sure if we were glitched out or something because it's way easier this time. But um, come on now, boom, take that one. Ooh, what a headache! <laughs> You're not supposed to catch tennis balls with your head. And there he falls the evil dictator, war commander, whatever you may wanna call him. Seems to be gone for good. Hooray! Oh, I was wrong, again. Why does this happen to me so often? Now he's just an evil floating head, and I don't know how to handle, oh, well that's not how you handle it. Um, hmm, well this might, yeah, not be good. I have no idea what I'm doing, but I only have one hit left. Okay, back to the tennis balls. I pressed the wrong dang button. Um, not good. Okay, just, will he chase me off the edge? No, he won't. Okay, good, good, good. All right then, so I guess I just have to hit him back with the tennis ball. You would think that they would just not shoot a tennis ball, or I could just die. One of the options is there. This area, this boss is very, very hard. I just wanted to let make that clear. This boss 
is so stinking hard. This is by far the hardest part in the game, I have to say. And now I'm gonna get hit by these. Oh, I didn't get hit by the missiles, good! But it's just very, very ridiculous in many different regards because it relies on this randomness that's sort of annoying, but boom! Right in your forehead. Yeah, take that. Gosh, that was tough. But hey, look, we got all the phantoms, so we must have won. We're looking at them explode in juicy goodness. And down goes his army, too. Whoa! Is everything okay? Hey, the blue sky's back. Hooray, we won! So down goes the tower, but we're at the top. But so is he. Oh, save him. You know what to do, Tempo. Or not, uh, oh, we're falling. <laughs> Look at him go, we're gonna save him. Grab him with your trunk. Is Tembo okay? He is, and he has Bad Dude McGee. Phantom busted. We have survived, awesome. We saved a town, we captured the bad guy, and we're still alive to tell the tale. It couldn't get any better. Oh, we get, uh, we get our own Elephantus Blighter. <laughs> that is so dang cool. And a whole celebration just for us, <laughs> the fist bump. So there we go, that was Tembo the Elephant. Wow, what a good game. Like I said, I was really interested in, interested in this game the moment it was like shown to me because it was made by Game Freak, the makers of Pokemon, and wow, did it look cool. Now that I've played it all through, I have the confirmation that yes, it was very, very darn cool. Now let's talk about that final boss fight for a few minutes because with the action that was going on, it was hard to talk about what was really happening while it was happening. But basically, that boss fight was a little annoying in a lot of regards, because it was a fun boss fight, an intense boss fight, and a deserving boss fight for the last battle, but in game mechanics-wise, it could have been better. It relied a lot on RNG, so even though, like, random number generators and randomness, so even though I did it one time through, doesn't mean I'm gonna be so lucky the second time through and actually get, like, a good cycle with it. There was a point in time where you had to hit the tennis ball back for the first phase before he went into the floating head zone, Basically, there was a point where when he shot out the tennis ball, if if he was in a cycle where he shot out the missiles, there was no way to get to the tennis ball without getting hurt. You could sit there dodging the missiles all day. It wouldn't change the cycle. It seemed that the only way to change that cycle was to actually die, and it was a sort of frustrating. It was a really, really frustrating boss overall, but I feel like if they could have not have done that, it would have been a really cool one. But either way, Tembo the Elephant was fantastically amazing, and I had a good time playing it, and it looks like the end. Oh, he comes back to his Tembo girlfriend. I love it. All right then, though. Thank you guys so much for watching this series. I really hope you enjoyed watching because I most definitely enjoyed playing. There's going to be a lot of crazy, awesome stuff coming up later this year with different platformers such as Mario Maker and just different games in general such as Tearaway and Lego Dimension. So if you want to find out about new interesting games being played on the channel every single day, make sure you subscribe if you haven't. But either way, thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.